just gonna throw me in here at the deep end like I got just uh, talking to a camera. It's been a while since we've done this. Um, I've done here turned American. I'm a hillbilly. So today's Saturday and we're here with Stavros's project car. We're also here with Lindsay doing the 893rd uh, exhaust modification on his car because he just can't make his mind up. Still too much car. Sorry? Still too much Still too much Still too much Great, awesome. I love it. Just ever so much laying on the floor working on shit 350Zs. Um, so, Stavros car. Plan for this car. It's going to be our little YouTube project for now. Uh, the plan is track days. Uh, can't drift a front wheel drive car unless you've got some McDonald's trays. And it's not much rallying or anything like that. So, track days is. Um, we're going to start off with the basics. Right now, all it has is a custom exhaust and an intake. Ish. Uh, ish, kind of. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to bolt on BC Racing coilovers because BC Racing coilovers are the tits. We're going to show you guys how to strip them down, clean them, check them, and then reassemble them so they don't seize up on you if you want to adjust the ride height or whatever in a couple of months and it, like everywhere, salt and corrosion is just sucks ass, whatever. Uh, so we're going to chuck coilovers on and Stavros also has a Vibrotechnics dog bone mount to stop the engine from moving around too much when you're stoving its head in. So we will... No slop needed. What? No slop needed. No slop needed. Nobody likes a sloppy, sloppy joint. I don't like a sloppy joint. Lindsay likes a sloppy joint, but he's weird and kind of filthy. So... Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lindsay, we're on YouTube here, bro. You're not allowed to swear. Look, look at him working on his own car. He's using four inch self tappers to hold his sick diffuser on his sick car. Um, Jack's, Jack's like, Jack's, Jack's has got bad gas recently. He, he, he just like, he just like farts and then just looks as if to say like, that wasn't me. Uh, so now we've been filming for two minutes, just rambling on about bollocks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna get coilovers on here and here and on the other side by this man. But first of all, we're going to strip them down. Don't know where he's put them. Over here. These are the coilovers. Look at my chubby yeah, finger. Kind of half stripped. Half stripped, but we're going to fully strip them and just, yeah, sick. We'll jump in there. So here we have a Stavros Petrua and it's natural habitat stripping down coilovers. So it doesn't matter whether you're buying brand new ones or second hand ones. Definitely if you're buying second hand ones, but even brand new ones. This adjusts the height of most coilovers. If it doesn't, they're shit coilovers, throw them in the bin. Uh, this adjusts the spring rate, basically tensions the spring against the top mount. You can't quite see. There we go. Uh, what we're going to do is strip this off here, take the rings off, take these rings off, take the springs off, anything, all those jibbery bollocks in here, and then just clean them up, uh, show you which bits to check, and hopefully these ones aren't blown. I must admit they are looking real oily here. That's because I coated them all last night to make them easy to take back. Well, there we go. That answers that question. So we will just film and time lapse this Johnny. Just look at that. Bam. Soft and hard. Ooh. <laughs> I like it hard. Um, the, these these are not BC approved, uh, but I left the spanners to do this at home. So Stavros is improvising. Um, this is not the ideal way. We're mixing it up, we're throwing different angles in situation. Well, I mean, actually, to be honest, we got this free, uh, just clean each side and then a little bit of WD-40 and then just gently guy it with these um, pipe grips. We're gonna strip this off here, wire it like you just saw, and then we're gonna time-lapse reassembly and copper grease. Copper grease is the most important bit because it is what stops them from seizing.
any coil overs on no, that is 6L chassis, polar 9 inch chassis. Yeah. Don't go very low on like your 6N where you can fucking even your racy boy coilovers will still slow on the side. Don't really want a low, do you? No, not about that stance life. But it's just easy. It used to be once upon a time. No, uh, the polo. But then I found out about how fun going fast is. <laughs> <laughs> I was hooked ever since. So now that's done, it is the smaller ring. I don't know if you guys can see it over there on the bench. Another one and this one. Um, and then we'll explain how we set up preload. Um, now, if you've got brand new coilovers around the box, personally, wouldn't mess with a preload unless you're dead set on stripping them down like we have and copper greasing them. Um, BC, as far as I'm aware, set the preload to what they believe is the optimum for road use, um, which is basically, I mean, again, I'm no expert. It's how tight, effectively, it's how tight the spring is against the shock. Kind of, maybe. I'm Just, not an expert. Uh, no. I don't, I don't know what you did for the Subaru, but it worked. So I did it's it. lovely ride quality. <laughs> I couldn't do it any uh, yeah, we did that. I did it until I couldn't do it anymore, hand to toe. We'll let Lindsay jack up and remove wheels. Actually, that's, that's his kind, job. kind of what he does for a living, actually. Jack cars off and take wheels off. <laughs> I think the Lindsay does are a lot more expensive. Too. Yeah, that's true, yeah. yeah. I was a bit nervous while I was asking how Lindsay did right head for. It's kind of your job. Short and Big John is on the top ring. Yep. Come on, Big Jonathan. See that base one? See how, see how it sits? One BC assembly. So now this one's done, we'll just jump in and do the rest. The rears are a little different on this particular platform because it's rear beam, front wheel drive, so it has a separate shock and spring. I'm make a start on the rears. Start with the bottom bolt with the shock. It's always the easiest one to undo. The rears are nice and simple, don't take very long at all. It's not out. Go down. Right next to the new one. Uh. <laughs> it's a little bit different, isn't it? <laughs> what do you reckon, Jax? So I'll chew through that, no worries, but. <laughs> Shocks bolted in first on both sides at the top, and then the springs go in, and then we'll use the trolley jack to jack the rear beam up and get the rear shock bolts in, which is where Stab's moving to now. Done. Ignore the discs. I think these are next. Big problem. Yeah, that's it. 
probably in cup slip on everything. Springs in, mounts, they've got a little bit of the top. Came to the dust bit. Work that. On to the plants. <laughs> You done a top man's up, Lindsay? I don't know. No, 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 no. <laughs> Go on, Stav, wiggle her through. Oh, it's in. Lindsay already got the side. I'm going to use these bolts instead of the factory bolts because they're a normal bolt. They don't have a stupid multi spline thing on. Uh, they're stainless, so they're pretty tough. These are a slightly higher grade, I think, because of what they do. Um, we're just going to cop slip shit out of these as always. Get these slung back in, and it's pretty much just it's pretty much just a reverse of taking it apart. You know, Ling's already put the drop links in. I can see the other ones already in at the top. Danny's tightening up. ABS line, the brake line, bracket needs doing, all that sort of shit. So we'll get this knocked out, and then we'll get it back on the floor. We're going to have a look at it, what it looks like. Done. So, just gonna get Lindsay when he reappears to turn it lock to lock. Just double check that nothing binds, doesn't pull tight on the ABS line or the brake line. Lindsay, yeah. just um, turn Stav's car lock to lock while we sit and watch. Hello, mate. My side's all good. Is your side alright? Yeah, I'm good. Sweet. Call over's done. Dog bone mount time. That's why Stavros is elegantly laid on his back. Um, he's just going to film how much. This is the new one. Let's see if I can show on camera how much slot there is in the engine right now before he changes it. Like, should, if I can do that with my hands, like, imagine what he's doing when he actually boots it. So, he's gonna set that up, and he's gonna film himself on doing that. Yeah, I'll set yeah. that I'm gonna try. Yeah. One step, one step, one step, one step, one step. This horse has got a fancy colour, isn't it? Is it? Oh. It's fucking golden, bro. Ah. Oh, down the brown, take the cheddar, something. Oh, yeah, look at the wrist action. Up close oh, and yeah. personal. Here's a man that knows what he's doing with his wrist. <laughs> One dog bone mount done. Let's go and check the engine for a wibbly wobbly. Wibbly wobbly. Sorry? That's it. Yeah. Fucking hell, so I think it might be actually be fucking side mounts more than it is a dog bone mount. Well, something's better than nothing. We can always upgrade the outside mounts at another point. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. We're knackered, we're in a bit of a rush because I've got to help my mum out because I'm a good son. Um, so we're gonna get the car down on the deck. We'll get it out. If we get time, I'll do a quick little bit of footage of it down and an outro. If not, it'll be tomorrow. Well, so. we'll do or we'll do it later when we get it aligned. We'll do it later when we get it aligned. That's what we'll do. 
So Stavros, we have completed said challenge. I'm um, just encouraging him to be on the camera more because it's, it's all me. Was you? Was you? <laughs> well, that one was there. Um, we got the BCs fitted. Um, <laughs> haven't adjusted any dampening yet, it's just all sat soft. So, so seems to ride okay. We were supposed to go, supposed to film tracking, but somebody. Let's do. We got the camera. We got the cameras, so. So um, we got that done, and I also got the Subaru done at the same time because we fit quite on that, and it hasn't been done since. So. Oh, our good pal Dave at Fensport hooked us up. Fensport, Handles, and Dave. Though Handles didn't really do nothing. He gave me a monster, something, I suppose. But Dave's the boy. Dave is the boy. He hooked us up. Um, Dave aligned them all. Mine was pretty bang on, to be fair, after fitting the quad overs. I think it was 0.2 more out. Yours was fairly bang on after fitting yours as well, wasn't it? Look at that, look at that. We didn't even touch the alignment and we just froze at it. Um, yeah, so next thing is an intercooler and some mapping. So next is intercooler, followed by brakes of some description. Yeah, probably go 323 Brembo's and then but the plan to try S4 300mm rears, but I don't know, I've never seen it done before. But so. the, the whole point of the, the car is to... Um, to experience tracks. Me, not so much. Super is too expensive and I don't trust myself. And I, I'm not fussed on driving. I like building things. So we're going to use Stavs. Like driving and breaking things. <laughs> Great, awesome. So, yeah. Coil overs are done. Dog bone mount is done. Next is the intercooler. Look at that. Stavs got a working car, finally. And this is also BCs as low as they go. <laughs> Unlike mine. It's full stance life. It's actually not. It's not even that low. We're going to end the video off here. Uh... Thank you all for watching. Like, subscribe, do everything. We will bring in as many updates, hopefully once a week. No more of Lindsay's exhaust. No more of Lindsay's exhaust.